What's up, guys? We're six weeks out now of the Strongman National Championships. Today, started off with some speed pressing. I decided to do some power cleaning into a paused push press into a jerk. And then followed that right up with med ball floor presses, we'll call them. Speed floor presses. The goal with the floor press is as soon as the ball comes down, you want to throw it right back up as soon as possible. You don't want to let it hit your chest. It's just trying to work a lot of speed into the press. Now, yeah, my jerks are kind of sloppy. Never really got too much into Olympic lifting. Probably something I should look into if I'm going to be a good presser. At least developing the speed part of the pressing anyway. But it... Right now, it works for me is just push pressing, but I just like to throw. I want to throw those jerks in there just because it's a speed day, just to kind of try to develop some of that jerking motion. And today I was still fried from pressing last week. My shoulders were just beat up. Everything felt heavy. Even 185 pounds, I could feel the strain on my shoulders. Felt like all the all my muscle fibers in my shoulders were just tearing, just trying to hold the bar up and press it. But I kept going through it, tried to finish the day off strong. I was satisfied with my results, except for the jerking part of it. But the push pressing went pretty well, especially considering I was going no belt today also. I really do like these speed med ball floor presses. I feel the speed developing the more sets I did. I could feel the power stronger, stronger. So that was definitely a uh, positive for it. Oh, this was 265. I probably should have stopped at 265. My shoulders were really bothering me, but I kept with it. This didn't feel too bad on my shoulders. Just the regular contrast work I like to do on my speed days. But I continued on after this. I bumped the weight up to 285. This was going to be my last set. Power clean was alright. Push press was fine. Had to kind of work for it a little bit. Shouldn't be doing that on my speed day. If I didn't feel like I should have hit it, I shouldn't have done it. But like I said, my ego got ahead of me. So and then I completely missed the jerk, which shouldn't have happened. Like I said, my shoulders were just so fried. I, I had I couldn't even hold the weight up on my you know on my front rack position, let alone try to use my legs to jerk it. So, but. Like I said, my shoulders were fried, so I just decided to do some tricep work for my accessories. Now, I said I was going to take one more week off at deadlifts, and again, the ego got a hold of me. So, I was over at Quad's gym in Chicago. Love the gym. This, this gym's crazy. I, I mean, I couldn't even think. There was just so much stuff to do. Like my mind went to complete overload. Now, I've never deadlifted with a bar that had this much whip to it. I felt like every time I was ripping it off the ground, it would just jerk me forward. The stiffer bars never did that to me. Maybe I was falling forward for other reasons, but outside of my knowledge, that's the reason why I was falling forward. I decided this was going to be my last top set. The uh, We decided to put those bumper plates on, and that probably wasn't the best idea. So the weights ended up falling off the side, so I kind of stopped there. And I wanted to get some speed work in with some light weight, just kind of bang out some reps. Had a kind of a bad mishap happened halfway through I ended up pulling my lat the rest of the training session I just did some light back work just to get some blood into the area and if it anything hurt I didn't do it but that was it for the week I, I skipped a leg day I skipped a strongman day I just want to get healthy it's, it's too close to nationals start pushing it so that's all I'm going to do for now I'm going to start training again on Tuesday with presses and see how that goes from there the pain's almost completely gone, so I'm just taking it one day at a time. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.